Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make zucchini lasagna. This is a great low carb option to enjoy a classic lasagna. Instead of using pasta, we're gonna use zucchini. To start, you wanna slice your zucchini into long, thin strips like they're pasta. You can do this with a sharp knife or you can use a mandolin. You can see that you end up with these long little strips like pasta sheets. You'll want to cut up four to five zucchini and then transfer all of the strips into a colander. Sprinkle on some salt and we're gonna toss these together and the salt will draw out any excess moisture so we don't end up with a soggy lasagna. Then we'll let the zucchini sit while we cook our sauce. In a large pot over medium high heat, you'll need one pound of lean ground beef and one pound of ground Italian sausage. Use a spoon to break up the meat and get it browning. Once your meat is starting to brown off, you'll want to add in one white diced onion and get that cooking in there as well. After about five minutes, the onions will start to get tender. And you can see why I used a lean ground beef because there's hardly any grease left in the bottom. But if you do have a lot of grease, now is the time to drain it. Next, add in five cloves of minced garlic and let this cook for about one minute, just enough time for it to release its flavor. Then pour in 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. I love using preserved tomatoes this way. And 15 ounces of pureed tomatoes, which is called tomato sauce or passata, depending on where you're located. Then you'll need two cans or 12 ounces of tomato paste. And a cool little trick is to open it on both ends with the can opener and then it slides right out and you can grab the top tab on top. Get the second one in there, oops. Grab off that can. This is why you rinse your cans before you open them and then stir this all together. Pour in half a cup of red cooking wine or you can use beef broth or chicken broth or even grape juice. Add in one tablespoon of sugar to balance the acidity of the tomatoes, although that is optional if sugar offends you. You'll also need one teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a cup of freshly chopped basil, and a quarter cup of minced parsley. We're gonna stir this all in. All right, let this simmer on the stove until you're ready to assemble your lasagna. Then we'll bring the zucchini over to the sink and rinse off all of that salt. I'm gonna spread it out onto some paper towels and then pat them all dry. You don't wanna end up with a soggy lasagna. Now, instead of a bechamel today, I want to use a ricotta mixture. I love that as a filling in lasagna. So we're gonna make that next. You'll need 30 ounces of whole milk ricotta cheese. You just wanna get that into a large mixing bowl. And to that, we'll add two tablespoons of minced parsley, one large egg, half a teaspoon of salt, and I like to add in just a pinch of nutmeg and stir this all together. Once that's mixed together, grab one pound of freshly grated mozzarella cheese and one cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese and we are gonna be ready to assemble our lasagna. To assemble, we're gonna spread just a little bit of the sauce onto the bottom of a lightly greased nine by 13 pan. Now you'll notice I'm using a deep dish lasagna pan. It's a couple inches deeper than your standard nine by 13 pan. This will allow me to create more layers in my lasagna and it's totally worth it. Next, you'll want to create a layer of zucchini. So just lay them out to cover the entire bottom of the pan. Next, we'll spread on about a third of our ricotta mixture right over that layer of zucchini. Then we'll add on more of our meat sauce and get that covering spilling everywhere. You'll wanna make sure you clean up the pan as you go. Top your meat sauce off with some of that shredded mozzarella cheese and then a quarter cup of our Parmesan cheese. Now that's one complete layer, so I'm gonna make three layers because I have that deep dish lasagna pan. If you have just a regular nine by 13, you'll probably only get two layers out of this. So I'll add on more zucchini until we get to the top. Now, once you get to the top layer, you'll add on another final layer, a fourth layer or third, if you're using a smaller pan of zucchini, and then cover that with a little bit of your meat sauce, then the rest of your mozzarella cheese and the rest of your Parmesan. If you have any leftover meat sauce, you can always freeze that for later use. Next, we're gonna bake this in a 375 degree oven, uncovered for about one hour. 
Let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes to make it easier to slice and serve, but we are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.